Sander. I've been beekeeping since 1976. I learnt my beekeeping in South Otago with Ivan Dickinson, who's an old identity in the industry. I worked for him for five years and we came up here loaded a J1 Bedford truck with 26 fives, came up here and uh, started my own beekeeping business. Out of those 26 hives in three years I was running about 700 hives. What we found before we started using feed bees that we could get variations of build up on between hives and between sites. A lot of that could be not enough, particularly around here, of course, or in the early part of the spring. And sometimes uh, it was the weather. We, could, we had a couple of weeks of bad weather, bees couldn't get out, and then we would certainly find pollen shortage in the hives. Um, as soon as you found pollen shortage in the hives, you could see a drop off in the brood. About 15 years ago, I started using feed bee. The reason being is that I wanted a continuous supply of pollen coming into the hives all through the spring, particularly in the early parts when the weather was colder, days were short and the bees weren't foraging as, uh, as much. What was really important to me is that the longevity of the bees that were hatching early in the spring, the better they were fed with pollen, then those bees were living longer. The hives were starting to build up quicker and we, we noticed that, the, the brood expansion and also the sort of the solidness of the brood. We just had frame after frame of just pure brood, sealed brood, and it just made me go to sleep happy at night just to see that. Because um, once bees are short of pollen, the queen will stop laying, but the life of the bee is, is shorter. Now the manuka up here was usually beginning of November. You can't crop it if you've got weak hives. The feeding of feed bee actually made us sure that we could build up the hives quicker. Mm -hmm. When you're building up your hives in the spring, you really only have one chance. Now, if you get pollen short for two or three weeks, and that, that could be weather or it could be location of your hives or it could be plants not yielding, then you don't get a second chance. Well, feeding feed bee made sure you do, weren't completely reliant on, on weather or location. And we found that we had ended up consistency with our, all our hives. The cost, um, we didn't think about it because we just knew we had that guarantee of getting quality hives when we wanted them. I would recommend any beekeeper to feed pollen patties and for us it was always feed bee because from my experience it was my father's best product um, because if we could start guaranteeing how our hives would be when we wanted them to be at the start of the honey.